Whether it's to change chords faster or to play a cool lick, this question comes up a lot. How do I get faster fingers? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that in less than one minute a day. Welcome back to Relax and Learn Guitar. I'm Kevin and this is Maggie May, our official mascot. We got my wife Vicki behind the camera. Hello. We're going to be doing some finger exercises today, so let's get started. So speed is all about muscle memory and, believe it or not, relaxation. So hopefully you can relax a little. Remember to breathe while you're doing these exercises because that's a big part of speed when it comes to playing the guitar. So we have to train our fingers to do what we want them to do. And I'm just like everyone else. There are certain chords or licks or wrists when I was first starting out. And I would be like, you know what? My fingers just don't want to do what my brain is telling them to do. And sometimes that happens to us. The way to fix that is to train our muscles. And that's what this exercise will help us do. And before we do any exercises, we always have to warm up. I remember my track coach in high school. <laughs> it's like warm ups are very important. Otherwise, we're going to pull some muscles. So always remember to you know shake those hands out. I like this little stretch here because it kind of gets my my forearms ready. I'll just kind of you know pull back my fingers a little bit, shake them out. I like this exercise too, where you're using your fingers to touch to your thumb. Um, run your hands under some warm water if you have to as we're getting older sometimes our old nemesis arthritis will kick in so make sure you're warming up your hands before you play not just exercises but before you play every day so this exercise is all centered around strength we're going to strengthen our fingers and our muscles and our tendons that control our fingers we're going to relax while we're doing that and we're going to build up to doing this exercise I'm talking a little bit each day. So here's how we're gonna start this. We're going to put our index finger onto the third string fifth fret. Our middle finger is on the third string sixth fret. Our ring finger is on the third string seventh fret. And our pinky is on the third string of the eighth fret. And they're gonna kinda of stay there for this exercise. Call this, uh, you may have seen this as finger push-ups. So, as your fingers are there, the first thing we're going to do is focus on our index finger. That's usually the easiest one to, to do. This exercise helps with independence. So it helps our fingers be independent and strong. So we're going to pick up our index finger and we're going to put it up here onto the sixth string on that fifth fret. Then we're going to lift it up and put it down here on the first string of that fifth fret. And that's one repetition. So you're going to do that ten times. One, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. While you're doing this, try to leave your wrist stable. You don't want to kind of do one, two. That's, that's helping, you know, that's a way to get to those strings. But for this exercise, if you can't make it all the way to that sixth string, it's okay. Go as far as you can at first and kind of work your way up to farther distances. And so for our middle finger, same exact idea. We're going to pick up our middle finger. We're going to put on the sixth string of the sixth fret and down to the first string of the sixth fret. That's one repetition. So you just do that 10 times. Now we're going to skip over our friend, the ring finger for a second here and actually the pinky too. So let's, I want to illustrate something first. I don't know if you guys did this, but in grade school, we had a little, it was like a little tricky joke, you know, very clever when you're, you know, eight or nine years old. <laughs> so the trick was, or the little gag was you would take your hand and your friend would say, bend your middle finger down. So you would put your middle finger down. The rest of your fingers are sticking out. Hopefully you guys can see that. Does this yeah. look good? Okay. Looks good. Then they would point to your index finger and say, lift 100. This is a hundred pounds, lift 100 pounds. And you would lift your index finger. Okay. Then they would point to your pinky and say, lift a thousand pounds, and you would lift the pinky. Mm -hmm. Then they would point at your ring finger and say, lift one pound, and you can't. <laughs> Look, you're a weakling, you can't lift one pound. So our tendons are connected in our hands, and especially our, our index finger is pretty independent. But when you move this ring finger, 
your middle finger is going to move, especially when you move your pinky finger, your ring finger is going to move. They are connected. So we're working to kind of make them a little more independent with this exercise. So this index and middle finger are probably pretty easy. Now when we get, to, let's do the pinky next. So you're going to lift up your pinky and go to the sixth uh, string on that uh, eighth fret. Yeah. And then back down to the first string. So I couldn't do any of those. Huh? <laughs> I couldn't do that. Well, it's... I, it, I couldn't either when I first started doing this and I still and I'll talk about the ring finger next but it's all about um, trying and I'll have some tips here at the end of the video that can help you or help others kind of get through it so with this pinky it's the same idea one two three four that one I have to really watch my wrist because I want to move it all right then we get to this ring finger so with the ring finger it's probably the one well, for me, at least, it's the one that still gives me the most the most trouble. I can get up here to the six. I can almost get to that first string, but it's more so the second string. And it's just it just takes time. All right. But doing this just uh, 10 repetitions on each finger, doing that once a day, do this for about a week or so. You will be shocked at how much faster you can then move those fingers to change those chords, play those riffs, those scales, whatever you're working on. And just really, <laughs> and yeah, I can just, I'm laughing because I can still like, I still have that sensation of like my brain is telling my ring finger to move and I really have to concentrate to get it to move. So a couple of things you can do um, when you're first starting this exercise, if you've never tried this before, one thing you can do is use your other hand and hold this, like let's say when you're doing this index finger, your middle and the other fingers want to move, it's okay to hold those down. And do this That's or yeah or if it's just the uh, you know the middle thing that wants to move you can use this hand to hold the fingers down the other thing you can do is use your other hand to move your fingers and that's kind of how I started with my ring finger I had to like like my brain was telling it to do that but I had to kind of get this kind of motion going to eventually get to that point and if you can't do all the way to the six and all the way down to the first don't fret over that it's a little, it will happen over time the more that you do this. And the thing that I forget to do, and you may too, is to breathe while you're doing this. We get so intent on learning this, or even when you're learning a song or a strum pattern or whatever it might be, take a breath, remember to breathe in and out while you're doing this. It will help with that relaxation piece. And trust me, these people that are burning up the fretboard, they're not doing it because they're tense and they're just trying to get it out. They're doing it because it's relaxed and it's natural and it's just coming out of their fingertips. And just to reinforce, you would want to do a little bit. 10 repetitions per finger each day is plenty. You don't want to overdo it because then you might start having some like repetition <laughs> issues happening with your hand and you don't want that to happen. So give this exercise a try. It will go a long way in making those fingers stronger and faster. Uh, let me know the results you have in the comments. I would love to hear from you. And uh, if you'd like some more tips and tricks on how to become an even better guitar player, check out this playlist next. Remember that Vicki and Maggie and I very much appreciate your views and your support here on YouTube. Until the next lesson, also remember that you're never too old to learn.